Welcome back everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, playing some more Timberborn, exactly where we left off last time. Uh, which is to say, I, I've killed them all, basically. It's, it's not good. I, we're trying, dang gummit. I mean, with only two beavers, I don't think we can do too terribly bad. Of course, we have no builders. Which, you know, that's, uh, potentially a problem. Uh, let's see, where is our builder flag? The lumberjack. Where's my buildery thing? Is it you? Might be you. Am I crazy? Maybe. Possible. Okay, we're, oh, oh, oh we're out of food, so let's, uh... Pause this and unpause that. That's basically, I guess, where where we're at with things, is we're going to be kind of... Let me turn this off for a bit. I mean, this will gather some water on its own. Yeah, we'll just... We'll gather a couple of berries. It'll be fine. Totally fine. Yeah, look at that. We're going to have all kinds of food. I mean, with just two people, what could go wrong? It'll be easy. I mean, this stuff basically grows on its own, right? You only need the farmer to plant, basically. I think, maybe. Anyway, the important thing is we're we're building up a bit of a stockpile. Life is kinda there. We're building this dam. It's all gonna come together. It's gonna be great. We're gonna Oh, lordy. I'm a damn fool. But, uh... We're gonna try, Dash Gummit. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at that. It, it's coming together. Got our two adults. They're moderately happy. Suppose if I really want it, we could build a nice little, uh... Ooh, a rooftop terrace. Fancy. I mean, we're not going to build that right now, but we could. We could. It's a thing. We'll do that. Then I can, like, stick some of our 2x2 uh, two two building or 3x3 three three building on the other side. Or 2x2 two two building and then have uh, some kind of thoroughfare going. I don't know. Maybe we won't worry about that. Making our beavers happy makes sense, but at the same time... At the same time, you know, we gotta, we gotta balance some of these things. Look at all that food. Going great. Perfectly fine. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that. And even that. And you as well. Minimize it all. There we go. It'll take a while. But uh, we'll breed these beavers back right- unless they're both men. Or both women. But we've established before, beavers are like totally, totally asexual. See, they don't even have a gender marked next to them. I see nothing that, that indicates we could, we might have a problem here, so it, it's probably good. You know, beavers, they're, they're like mushrooms. They just, they just spore off and spawn new ones. They just need a, a cool, dark, damn play. I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Just, uh... Just trust me, okay? <laughs> Just trust there's, like, a funny joke in there. That's all I ask. Right, now, before things go crazy, let's, uh... We'll harvest the carrots. Might make a good uh, bit of sense to actually leave the, some of the berries lying around anyway. I don't really know, to be honest. What are you guys doing? Like, relaxation time? Working hours. Increase it by one hour. Do I want to do that? I mean, it might make sense. Put them into, uh, like, super priority mode. What are, what are all these buttons doing? Like, 
Well, I can get from context this is some kind of thing saying, hey, you know, like, move up and down layers. I think. I trust that's what it means. There we go. Hmm. Yet? Not 100% sure. I want to believe that I'm right and I know what I'm talking about, but can't be. Oh my god, we've got a furred beaver. A little baby beaver. But come, it's all coming together. Though, also, when it comes to like the breeding and mating rituals of beavers, we could always just take, you know, obviously the population is an abstract concept here, you know, instead of five, it's like 5,000 beavers. 500. That's how we'll, that's how we'll wrap our head around the fact that somehow two beavers are able to completely repopulate the planet by themselves. All under the watchful gaze of a malevolent god. Well, am I male malevolent? I like to think I'm not. I'm just an incompetent god. Overseer, person, thing. Whatever, whatever role it is that the player actually has in a colony building type game. Yeah. Forecast unknown. Now, if we look at some of our stuff here, do we have like a... A weather uh, predicting thing. Continuity, flame of progress, labor movement. I'm not seeing anything here that obviously looks like it would tell us what the weather is. Hmm. Printing press. That does sound like a pretty important thing to do eventually. But with only three beavers, it's going to be a bit of a slow, uh, a slow start here. Obviously, a more competent player would not have only three beavers at this point in the game. But, uh, you know, I am uh, clearly not the most competent of players. But maybe make planting the, the bigger thing. And I think I'll turn off building once uh, once this is finished and we can secure a a reasonable amount of water. Um, and we'll we'll focus on the farming and scavenging. At least until we get our numbers up, because obviously at the state we're currently in, uh, probably doesn't make that much sense to worry too much about building big stuff. Back for that in mind, let's uh, make sure. Like, let's make sure this is like zero priority. We don't need it, not right now. I mean, the big thing is we want to just get across the river, chop some trees now and then. I mean, these do grow back on their own eventually, it seems. So we don't strictly need a forestry. Forestry is just to make sure that we've got a nice, sustainable living situation going here. I wonder when we'll end up with a fourth beaver. And I wonder exactly how population is going to take off here. But once we get a fourth beaver, we will need a an extra house in order to continue growing. That's an important thing to keep in mind. And we probably want to get to about ten. I also wonder if I have, uh, like, actually already screwed us over by uh, killing off most of beavers. Let's unpause that, and since we've farmed all that, we can probably safely turn that off so that you're, you know, you, we gotta keep harvesting. I mean, we've got lots of food at this point, but let's, let's learn a lesson from our mistakes of the past and just make sure that we have way more than enough. In fact, since things are probably going to be a bit slow development-wise for the foreseeable future, and we're just going to be focusing on uh, acquiring resources and I'll have water here. They're good questions. Turn you back on. No one's employed, but you know someone will take up the job sooner or later. Kind of, we'll keep working at this stuff. We'll get there. 
But anyway, I think I'm going to kind of just fast forward and montage this until we, you know, get back to uh, an effective equilibrium. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> looks like old Gaslight has missed his shot again. And we're not going to have this properly uh, blocked off in time. But four days, that's one day more, give or take, than uh, the last time. Though it seems like the water's taken a little bit of time before it completely drains off the map. So that's a, a small plus. Which might be our saving grace in all this. Bit of a weird situation, to be honest with you. Uh, it also occurs to me, might make sense to build, and it, because this path from like here down, that's, it's wasting a lot of our day, I, I think, so. Uh. Well, actually, I guess, oh god, and there it is. Oh god, wait, 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 I, I need to turn off, turn off something. Okay, turn off all the building, turn this back on. Uh, we need to harvest the plants. Drying out and we'll die. I mean, I guess I don't strictly need to to do that. All right, turn that off too. Everyone, stop what you're doing and and farm. Farm like your life depends on it. All right, and I guess you can lumberjack like your life depends on it as well. We've got nine extra water in here. These are basically full. I mean, I guess we've got so much food that it it really doesn't matter that much. But I suppose I should. I, I should have probably been focusing a bit more on getting this built, but surely uh, 2.4 days our beavers won't die. Surely. It, it, it's hard to say sometimes, to be honest with you, but uh, I choose to believe we'll be alright. Is this... Storage house actually completely full of carrots now? No, it's not. It, it's fine. Though its capacity is getting there, so... That's probably something to keep in mind. We'll do what we can, though. But I think what I'll do is I'll, uh... We'll get all this harvested, and then we're gonna turn this off, and we're probably not gonna... We actually probably won't need to work on... On, uh food production for a while. Like, we're, uh, we're pretty set. Might not need to work on water production either, come to think of it. Alright, good. So that's, that's done. Let's turn you off. Let's turn you back on. Pretty sure they'll still take the carrots out of it, but you know, we'll, we'll see how things turn out. Love the music in this game as well, by the way. Just feel like that's worth pointing out. All right, so what's everyone doing? We've got an unemployed person. Uh, okay. There we go. We'll have two builders, one lumberjack. That should actually... That should cover things just fine. At least for the time being, anyway. But yeah, I've got a, a big problem that we have is our lack of efficiency with pathing and whatnot. I liked having this here, but yeah, truly, truly not our our best idea. I think if I cut these, if I get rid of these, and then we put like a, a staircase here. That'll uh that'll probably be fine. Oop that there. Rid of that. Then of course we just need to wait until this thing gets built. Which it, yeah, it's getting there. Uh, maximize the priority of that, even though it's gonna get done one way or the other. And other than that, building lacks workers. Did someone die? Ah, geez, someone died of old age. Of old age, it says so right there. Well, shoot. 
Oh, there goes the uh, water. Oh, maybe I should get this built as well. I don't think it'll matter at this point, but one can uh, one can hope. Yeah. You need to have two dwellers in order to produce a child. Have I already doomed this uh, this poor poor family? Possible. I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah, we've definitely got a ways to go on this. This is finished though, so that's good. Now, now we can be sure we will at least have some some level of water. This outside of our reach, it might be. Worth being aware of, I guess. Oh, another district center, of course. There we are. Gonna half right up to this. And eventually we'll probably want to set some kind of pathing over there, but we'll worry about it again when the time comes. Oh good, this is done now. Wonder if I'd had this to begin with, if that would have Oh good, we've got another baby. Me too. Oh my goodness. But again, uh this should hopefully hopefully allow the population to start growing. I've truly screwed us over in many ways. But uh, you know. I still wanna believe that we can come back from this. But, uh, you know, time will, time will tell. How old was, uh, Sullen? Get an idea of how long our beaver friends are projected to live. Long enough, I imagine, but, uh, still, it's one of those things, it's, it's always good to know. Precisely. Alright, so once this is built, Probably want to get someone to prioritize that. Building- oh, good lord. Wait. Oh no, this is what lacks the workers, I see. Building is full, that's good. Alright, yeah. I, mean, I think I'll, I'll fast forward again and we'll see where we end up. Alrighty then, so we're getting there. We're up to four beavers now. That's a, a small plus. And, you know, I figured might as well build a couple of houses here just to, just to make sure we're all set, more or less. I mean, this is set to be super low priority once we've built everything else. And we still have some issues when it comes to actually getting all the jobs done. But, uh, you know, we're, we're doing what we can, and that's, that's something, I guess, possibly. Oh, now we're back down to three beavers. That's a little unfortunate. But, uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Let's, uh, let's turn this off for now. And, yeah, we're just, uh, we're slowly working on... On getting everything done. We've got we've got plenty of water. Four days or five days really. Building lacks power, that's okay. We'll just uh build this. I'm kinda curious if um Well I know that we can if there's adjacent powered buildings, we can end up uh still with power, so that should be fine uh in the future. Without having to worry too much about running cables or anything, but you will kind of see how how that all plays out. It's going to be hard, honestly, for uh oh, never babies born. That's good. That's good. I mean, four. That means we basically have two breeding pairs, as long as uh, we can keep it like that. And then if they uh, keep populating, we'll be back up to ten pops in no time. 
I mean, where are we right now? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So basically, with our houses like this, we have a population cap of ten. So that's good. That's that's pretty good. I mean, uh, some wacky stuff going on here as far as uh, populations are concerned. We might want to research unlocking some of these uh, these bigger homes here, because that might allow us to have more more babies at a time, perhaps. Depending on on what the stats are there, really. Like if we look at this one, yeah, it allows two adults and one one child. So six presumably allows uh I guess two pairs of adults and two children. Kind of interesting. So each beaver figure we would want to have at least two so that uh you know each uh each pair like four eight twelve kind of housing just so that like each beaver pair can uh i guess replace themselves but you know what it all works at the end of the day probably maybe possibly maybe i think i can turn this job off and Maybe turn the logging back on. We just need planks and then we can start the forestry and then, you know, have our forestry taken care of and that'll be good. We have someone who's able to uh, do stuff here, so that's pretty good. So we have so much food that maybe it's a little, uh, maybe all these berries are a bit unnecessary. But on the other hand, maybe they are super necessary. Probably not, but you know, we'll we'll get there eventually. I'm also looking over here, and I'm kind of thinking about future plans. Wanna build like at least up to here so that the water flows in. Maybe even higher, actually. It does kind of lead me to wonder what exactly will happen if uh, I have, well no, I know exactly what'll happen. If I have it super high up here, then it'll just end up flooding everything else, so. I guess if I want this to actually be a long-term uh, viable thing, I would basically need to like bomb all of this to be at least one level lower if I wanted it to be, or maybe two. I, again, it really depends on like how much of a basin you want here for storing of water. Eh. I mean, I just just having the water at least up to here is probably good enough so we look at how high it is I guess up to here any higher and we risk flooding the entire valley or is this really a valley not really but we'll call it a valley for the sake of it because we can effectively is what I'm saying here I really want to get some construction work going on over here but it doesn't really make sense buildings lack workers that's unfortunate so we'll, I guess we'll turn that off. Constructions lack materials. Materials. Oh shoot, we're actually out of wood. <laughs> that would explain the problem. Alright. Uh, what is everyone doing? What are our jobs right now? We have a district center, a gatherer flag, and a lumber mill. Oh. No, I don't want anyone working at the lumber mill right now. There's There's no lumber jobs. Silly goose. Alright, so there we go. Let's uh, actually have a nice even thing. Something like that. Alright, that makes me happy. And also maybe chop these trees as well. Just because you can. Though your lumber flag doesn't reach all the way over there, so... You know. Not as good for us, but... You know, we're there. I don't think I'll turn this job back on until, well, I'm not entirely sure when until, but we'll figure it out. What do we actually really need more jobs of right now? I really want to focus on, on unlocking these. So this requires planks, planks. So it's only planks. We actually don't need to worry about gears until we want to make explosives. And I, I kind of want to actually like just go through these first which could take a while but uh our current rate 
Well-being is five. Let's see how this is all looking out. Fun is at zero. Comfort. Knowledge. Can only be satisfied by adults. I don't know about that. I sometimes think kids can be more knowledgeable. Anyway, looking at my timer, because I haven't been keeping, uh, I haven't been properly uh, pausing and unpausing whenever I cut away. I'm going to assume this episode's gone on long enough. So, we shall- oh, good lord. What have I done? There was like some over flooding here for a moment. That was scary. But, uh, alright. That scared me, but we'll be- we're, we're probably fine. Probably. Stuff's going on over here, man. Anyway, we'll we'll work on fixing that. It'll be great. And when we come back... Oh my god, we actually have five beavers now. Alright, the population is slowly coming back. It's happening, man. It's happening. Alright. I can, I can probably afford to turn this off and maybe have, like, more research beavers. Let's get back to research. I'm going to have to do a lot of micromanaging with jobs for a while, but that, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Anyway, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.